Hello. So finally, um, file facts, personal size, refill for plotter. I was having a conversation in the comment section of my plotter unboxing with someone. I mentioned file facts as my first and last organizer and planner before I moved on to Hobonichi in 2019. And the last time I used my file effects was probably uh, the year 2000, which is... Um, so for 20 years, I simply um, organized myself on scraps of paper, as I've mentioned in several of my past videos. And he asked what the size for... Uh, what it is the equivalent of the Bible size for plotter. What is the equivalent... Um, on the file effects side, and he asked whether or she, they ask whether it's the personal size. And so I, I actually wasn't sure. And I think the personal size is exactly the only one file effects I've ever owned. That is the only size is this size. I remember the size of the paper. And in many ways, I decided to have um, this size, the Bible size, because it reminds me so much of my file effects. So I'll do this. Now, this is slightly wider and slightly shorter, but about a, by about a millimeter, I believe. And when I discovered that the measurement is quite similar and that they're both six rings, I thought, okay. And there are lots of um, inputs by others that uh, this is a workable arrangement. So I'm very happy. So let's have a look. So yeah, so that's brilliant. So it's a little bit as you notice. Um, yeah, not, not at all by much. So the personal size file effects, I think it's a very workable substitute. And now whether the paper is the same or not, I don't know. Uh, Japanese paper tend to be, um, from what I know of learning traditional Chinese painting, the paper rice is then covered with like a starch and I think Japanese papers, modern papers, um, made in that tradition. Uh, while Western papers is slightly different, I don't know. So let um, I'm curious now. I mean, this is the only fountain pen I have inked. So I'm gonna try this. I just tried a uh, Hobonichi 2024, which I haven't done fountain pens on, and I really I'm not sure how I feel about it. It feels like there's a thicker coating on the paper, and I can't feel the grain of the paper as much. It reminds me very much of Muji's notebooks. They are brilliant with ballpoints and gel pens, but with fountain pens, they tend to be a little bit more glide. It's too much like writing on a plastic, almost. So... Yeah, it's um just it's a nice nice uh, but it's very pert, so it's like writing on normal paper rather than I don't want to really uh, write on this yet because uh, so I'll do that later. This is the plotter's um the plotter's paper, so uh, yeah, it's it's good enough for now. And I suspect if I do get this around. Um, um, putting this in my bag, I will not be using fountain pens anyway. Um, a bigger one, I have one coming my way, this is size A4. I heard that they've stopped, uh, they discontinued the brass hardware for the Pueblo leather, and so I was hoping to buy the A5 in a different leather, but when I heard about that, I thought, oh well, I'll just grab it now because I know Yoseka has some and the refiller there's a lot more stock for the a5 so it seems like their bible size is 
selling more than their A5, assuming that they stock on the same level. I just noticed the... And so for the A5, I might be using it more on desk bound. I don't know, and I'll probably use fountain pens more there. And I don't, I'm not using it as a planner. The A5 is going to be used as a notebook and to coordinate my thoughts. Because at the moment, the normal notebooks that I have is really difficult. Um, because um, I think I do a brain dump and then I write everything and I can't find them again. So ideally, I would like to have brain dumps in terms of topics. So for example, I want to uh, note about my cat and I wanted to note there are several aspects of the cognition of my cat and therefore perhaps potentially of all cats or maybe potentially of mammals. In general, I don't know. It's just a personal project I have and I can't find the, the thoughts that I had about certain things without going through everything from start to finish every time. So fountain pens, going back to my original point, probably be more relevant then. In this case, uh, with the pen loop thing that is coming, which is something like this. Um, I doubt I'll have, I mean, this color works so well, but together, but I'm not going to have my fountain pen sticking out like that, crashing around in my bag. And this leather on purpose, um, I picked it because I don't want to have to baby uh, <clears throat> my planner because these organizers and planners will have to be living in my big hole of a bag. So anyway, yeah, so one more time, that's the Filofax personal size, it looks like so. And, oh, where is the, where did the ruler go? And so the, it sits like that, it's not too bad, is it? Look, so it's um, a little bit, it's actually, it actually works really well. So I'm just gonna put that here. This can also serve as a bookmark. So you do that. I think they call it flipper or something or lifter or something. And so this can can serve as a, you know, as a thing. So um, one more thing that I haven't, that I'm still looking for is a tab, which is again, something that I am used to from Filofax in the past. Those tabs I found really helpful. I think they have a folder called Project Manager and the tabs that I have are really bright in colors and I'm really not sure how I feel about that. I wanted something a little bit more in keeping with the aesthetic of, of the whole um, package. So yeah, so that's the plotter filler, refiller, um, refill for the monthly. And the reason for this is because I found myself using in the last year or two, I found myself using the month section of the weeks and then the notes at the back, you know, at the very back. If you recall, hold on a second, uh, the very back of the weeks. And what's good about this is it's page. So then you can index it at the front. And I do it by writing just wherever and then note the pages instead of indexing and then noting. I would just note wherever and then start indexing at the page at the front. So all I did was use the back notes there with the indexing system and the, um, hold on a second, and the, so that one there. So then I will write the pages here afterwards. Do you know what I mean? So I don't do this first and write the notes. I write the notes first wherever I want. And then I look at the topic and I look at the page and I put it here. Uh, as you could see, um, this is 2023, it's hardly used. It's the first year that I realized that my need for Hobonichi have changed because of what happened in 2022, as I've mentioned, with my mom's health. And so I mostly live in the monthly, at the front, this one here, and the notes here. So um, this is, again, in keeping with my usual planning in the past have been on man monthly wall planner. Monthly wall planners are big enough for me to do everything on the spot, but here it's too small. So then the weekly have been good because then I can go back and zoom in on each of these weeks in the body of the planner. 
but in 2023 and 2024, I found myself mainly here and in the notes section. So I wanted to replicate that here with monthly and just notes like that. So, and you see the, um, here you could see it doesn't stick out. I mean, yeah, you could see a little bit there, a barely really. Look, and this is how it is. I mean, you have this file effect sticking out and then, yeah, so just barely. If you don't want file effects sticking out, let me see if I can do it. Um, oh, you can't. Because if you flip it around, you still have, uh, like this, you still have file effects sticking up here. It's just that it's upside down now. So, yeah, you can't. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You know, it is, it is file effects. Um, they were the, the first to create the system anyway. So, it's like a nod to them. Why not? Yeah, so there it is. It's pretty good, right? So file effects, personal size for the Bible size plotter. If you are having trouble like me, getting refills. Bye.